With class three, we're going to do, in fact, class two, we're going to do an animation of the water cycle. And the water cycle is basically how the water evaporates, turns into clouds, clouds get higher, the particles get colder and cling together, and they form around a piece of dirt or dust in the air and get so heavy that they come down again. And then they flow down by the sea, by rivers, or they go into the ground, or they get sucked up by plants um, into the roots, and then get given out into the sky again. And we're going to do all this in the water cycle in Scratch. So let's have a look at it. I'm going to press the green flag so you can see it. And we're going to start off, as you can see, we've got the sea here. And as I go over the sea, up comes a big word, evaporation. Now, evaporation happens when wind and heat make the water break down and get really light and go into the sky and it evaporates. So it starts to go into the sky. And we're going to move up. And then we get condensation, another big word. And condensation is when it forms clouds. So all the clouds we see are made of water vapour. And it's going to move across again. And as these clouds form rain, they get darker and darker. And the water droplets form around a piece of dust in the sky to make it large enough for it to get too heavy. And then it starts to fall down. And this is called precipitation. And precipitation isn't just rain. It can be snow, sleet, hail, any time that the water is cooled down so it falls back to earth, we call it precipitation. Moving down again, we have surface runoff. This is where the water flows into the rivers and back to the sea. Now you notice we've got plants here. Well, plants do something called transpiration. That's a really big, strange word, but it sounds a bit like respiration, and that's what we do when we breathe. And for plants, it's a very similar thing. They release water vapour from their leaves as they breathe in oxygen to turn into food, and sorry, breathe in carbon dioxide to turn into food, and breathe out oxygen. And the water vapour is released back into the sky. Now, how do we make all this? Because we're going to put some quite clever code in each piece. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is show each piece. <coughs> to show you how we do it. Now it's quite busy now, doesn't it? So, Sprite 1, we basically, we draw three lines, so we go into Costumes, and we say Draw, and I've drawn three lines of evaporating water, and then using the T tool, <coughs> I put the word evaporation across the screen, that's using the T tool. And you'll notice that the T-Tool comes with a little handle that you can move the writing around. And just get it centred above the graphic you've done. Press OK. And that's your first sprite, Sprite 1. Sprite 2 was really easy. I just had to draw a cloud. And then for my writing, I put condensation. And that's when the water's come together and started to cool. And it's starting to condensate into the cloud, the white fluffy clouds that we see. It's condensation. Sprite 3, when we paint it, we're just going to make the cloud go dark. So this is the black cloud. And we're going to need to put cooling, forming water droplets. Because this is where it's cooling and forming water droplets. And again, 
you may have to move this. So go onto the T, grab here, and you can move it. You can even make it small if you wanted, just by going down here, and then it will fit better over top of the cloud. Okay. Sprite 4, I'm going to add it, is precipitation. A very difficult word, precipitation. But it just means rain, snow, sleet, or hail. And for this, we go into the T and we write precipitation. We do our dark cloud, but we have rain coming down from it. Sprite 5 is really easy. We're going to draw a river. So we're going to say paint. And we're going to paint our river coming down the mountain. We're going to say surface runoff. Again, you're looking for that handle. You can put it anywhere, but just put it down by the river so it's nice and easy to see. Our last one is transpiration. And we've got to put this by the plants, so we need to draw our plants on here. And transpiration, let's just do it, transpiration. It's got the lines again, just like we did to start with, because it's going up into the sky, and then putting the word above it. Now, the only other thing we've got to do is go on to the stage. Um, for the stage, we're going to have to draw a mountain first. Draw that mountain first. We can select that blue. I just made that a little bit blue there. Put the trees on, do the sky, and then do another blue all the way across here, making sure it touches there and there, and then do a darker blue for the C, and then press OK. Now let's have a look at the code on all these. So if I press the green flag, they all disappear. So what's the code on them? Um, let's have a quick look. Show. We'll go to scripts. When, flag clicked, hide, and then it's the forever if. Forever if touching mouse pointer because this is our mouse point so when it touches this show wait five seconds and hide and that's the same code on all of them so that's why it's a, a nice easy one to do once we've done all the drawings so when clicked hide forever if touching the mouse pointer Show, wait five seconds, and then hold. And that's the water cycle. I hope you enjoy it, class two.